MPs posed questions to both ministers after their ministerial statements. Alex Yam highlighted ground sentiments that some elderly have a preference for the Sinovac vaccine and might reject current options. Surveys conducted by the government found that about a third of Singaporeans would prefer to wait for more data before deciding if they want to get vaccinated, while close to 60% of people would choose to take the shot. We hope that uh, more than 60% of Singaporeans, in fact, uh, ideally everybody in Singapore, should be vaccinated. And therefore, regardless of uh, whether it's 60%, 70%, we must work hard to try to get the last person to get vaccinated. With regard to uh, Sinovac or any other vaccine that has not been approved, my advice is uh, don't wait for them because we do not know when uh, they will be available and we also do not know when whether they will be approved at all because until we have the full information, until we have completed the review, I cannot assure you that these vaccines will be available and in the short term or in, even in the long term. Mr Gan also said cabinet ministers will be among the first in line to get vaccinated, but priority is given to frontline healthcare workers. He was replying to Gerald Gyalm, who asked why senior public servants like ministers have not been vaccinated yet. We will be taking the lead, as the Prime Minister has said so. Uh, he will be among the first when his uh, cohort comes. But at the same time, we also do not want to be accused of uh, jumping the gun and uh, jumping the queue and uh, in order uh, that uh, we are ahead of the others. And therefore, we have to uh, manage the process to ensure that uh, the first priority is given to the healthcare workers because they are exposed and they are at risk. MP Fu Mi Ha also asked about the risks of vaccines not being delivered. Mr Gan says there will be risks of non-delivery or a delay in deliveries, but he says steps are being taken to ensure Singapore has a sufficient supply. We are in close contact with our manufacturers that we have entered in uh, uh contract with and we are monitoring their delivery schedule and some of part of our vaccination program have to uh, adjust ourselves and we are also looking forward to more vaccine, vaccines being approved so we have alternatives. We want to make sure that we diversify our sources of vaccines so that even if one shipment is delayed we have uh, access to other supplies.